Hello and welcome to Project Wise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course. Create and import documents using Excel import tool. In this lesson, we will learn using Excel import tool to bring new documents into Project Wise along with the attributes that need to be associated to the documents. First, in order to use the Excel import tool to bring new documents into ProjectWise, we must have enabled the export import to Excel option as part of the ProjectWise Explorer client installation. The goal we try to achieve is by using the Excel import tool to create multiple CAD DGN documents along with their attributes being assigned and majority of information is read from the Excel file. We only demonstrate in this lesson using DGN documents, but we can also use this same Excel import tool for other types of documents as well. Let's see how we can use this tool effectively. First, we need to create an Excel template. This is because we want to let ProjectWise know which environment and attributes information that we want to associate with the documents that we are about to bring into ProjectWise. Let's go to the Tools menu bar and select Create Excel Template. We will need to select the environment, in this case, my company, and the standard interface. This will set us up to the right path and give us just the right information to create the Excel template. Click on the Browse button on the far right to save the Excel template to a preferred location. For example, we will save it here. Give a template a name. Most importantly, the file extension must be XLTX or XLT. Go ahead and click Save and then click Next. This screen allows us to define which information that will be created in the Excel template. On the left, we can leave it as default. On the far right, go ahead and enable the option, select all. All the information in the right box will be saved into the Excel template. Go ahead and click next. If there is any attribute that we want to make it mandatory, we can select the attribute and enable the toggle. But for now, we only need the template to help us bulk loading documents and their attributes into ProjectWise. So let's go ahead and just accept the default and click finish. It's telling us that the Excel template has been created successfully. Let's go ahead and hit OK. As we can see, the template file, it is just like a placeholder, just giving us idea, the information that we need to fill out when bringing documents into ProjectWise. We can use this Excel template that was generated a moment ago to create an Excel file, which has all the documents and attributes that are about to be brought into ProjectWise. But there is an easier method, which we will demonstrate it now. Here we have a ProjectWise document with most attribute information already filled out. So we will use this document as an example to help us to create that Excel file. Let's go ahead and close the dialog window. Then right mouse click on the document, export to Excel, add to export list, and then select the document again, right mouse click, export to Excel, export the list to Excel. By doing this, it will review this document, including the ProjectWise location, along with its attributes, and then create the Excel file. We will need to select the Excel template that we created moments ago. Click on the first Browse button on the far right. Select the template we create earlier and click Open. Then click on the second Browse button to save the selected document and its attributes information into the Excel file. The file extension will need to be either XLSX or XLS. Go ahead and click Save. We can also enable the option Create Log File, where it will show us detailed information about the export process. Go ahead and click Next. Since this ProjectWise document has a file, we do want it to be exported as well. This way, we will know how it is being recorded in the Excel file. We will export the ProjectWise document in this location, but you can always click on the Browse button to choose a desired location. Do not enable the option Mark Document as Exported 
as this will check out or lock the project-wise document. Remember, we only want to use this document as an example to help us generating the Excel file. We are not really working on this document. If the selected document has versions, enabling this option will also bring out earlier versions of the document as well, not just the latest version of the document. Since the document that we select is the latest version, so we are not going to enable this option. If the selected document does not have a file, enabling this option will allow the document to be exported successfully. Otherwise, if this option is disabled, it will generate an error during the export. Make sure this option is enabled. Go ahead and click Next. This is a final chance for us to select other project-wise documents to export. But in this case, we only use this selected document as an example to write to the Excel file. So we won't need to select other documents at this time. Go ahead and click Next and then Export. It appears that the export operation has been complete successfully. The project-wise document is indeed exported or downloaded to the following location. We may not need this document for this lesson because we are really just interested in the Excel file that project-wise generates. So let's take a look at it. So this is the Excel file that the Excel import export tool generates. Let's open it and review the file. What we will do is we will use this Excel file to help us batch import multiple documents with their assigned attributes into ProjectWise. The first thing we will have to do is to unprotect this Excel file so that we can make changes to it. We can use row number two as an example to help us fill out the rest of the rows and columns in this Excel file, which represents documents that we are about to import into ProjectWise. For example, there are 11 DGN documents that we want to bring into ProjectWise. The document file name column is the actual file when it imports into ProjectWise. We will see how we can use Excel formula to fill out this cell. Column B is the file name. This is where we want to direct ProjectWise to look for the file to be imported. It can be a MicroStation seed file or a DGN file of our preference. But this file must exist in the directory that we specify in this cell. Since we have 11 documents to be imported into ProjectWise, so we are going to fill out the rest of these cells in column B. Folder ID is not needed in the Excel file, so we can clear it. Column D is the folder name column. This is the ProjectWise folder location where we want our documents to be imported into ProjectWise. Since we want these 11 documents to be in the same ProjectWise folder, so we just copy and paste. Otherwise, we can specify different folder locations for each of the documents that we are about to import. Column E is the name column. Similar to the file name column, we will use Excel formula to fill out this cell. Object ID column, we can clear this out as well. For these new documents that we'll be importing into ProjectWise, the area attribute will be B for building. To make the rest of the Excel rows for this column to have the same value, we can drag, highlight all the other rows and then release. This is how we can copy. Similarly, the doc level attribute in column I, it will be 2. Again, using drag, highlight other cells and then release to copy the data to other rows. The doc type attribute in column J, it will be 2DM. Drag, highlight and release to copy the data to other rows. Project ID in column N, since we only want to copy the same value, to other rows, but not automatically incremented. So we will choose the option of copy cells instead of view series. We will now see it's all have the same value. Go ahead and fill out the serial number in column R. If you remember, 
we only want to have 11 documents to import into ProjectWise. The first document should start with 1 and the last document should end with 11. But in this case, it's 12. So we need to fix that and update the serial number for the rest of the documents as well. Fill out Title 1, Title 2, Title 3. Again, when we want the highlighted rows for the column to have the same value, we need to make sure we choose Copy Cells instead of Fill Series. We can clear out the value for column V as we won't need it. Let's go ahead and fill out column K, which is the drawing number attribute. This is where we can use Excel formula to concatenate the values from column N, which is project number, followed by the separator underscore, and then column H, which is area, and then underscore, as well as column J, which is doc type, then underscore, and then column I, which is doc level, followed by underscore. Finally, column R, which is the serial number. The formula does look correct and give us the right value. We will need to fill out the rest of the cells for column K by dragging, highlight the cells, and then release. Column E is the document name. Since we want it to be the same as the drawing number, so we just enter column K3 and fill out the rest of the cells for column E by dragging, highlight the cells, and release. Column A is the document file name. This is slightly different because we want to have the file extension included. So it will be a concatenation of column K, which is the drawing number, and the file extension of .dgn. Make sure the rest of the cells for column A is filled with data, then save the Excel file. We will go back to ProjectWise Explorer and see how we can import these documents and attributes into ProjectWise. From the Tools menu bar, select Import from Excel. Click the Browse button on the far right and choose the Excel file that we just modified. Click Open. If we wish, we can also enable the option Create Log File so that all the transactions for importing documents will be recorded in a log file. If there are documents that could not be imported, at least we can review the log file to help us troubleshoot the problem files. Leave the other options as default. Go ahead and click Next. Yes, we want to make sure that we choose the correct environment and interface, which the new documents will be imported into. We don't need to specify the root folder where the new documents will be imported into because the folder name column in the Excel file already have that information. If we know that the documents that we will be importing into ProjectWise and the ProjectWise folder doesn't exist, we can enable the option Create Subfolders. We want to enable these two options as we are going to import new documents into ProjectWise and only locate the documents by its name and not by the ID. When this option is enabled, ProjectWise will create a new version of the document if there are multiple rows in the Excel file that refer to the same folder location and same document name. If we don't enable this option, no version will be created and it will generate an error that the document could not be imported. When enabling the option Update Files, if the same document already existed in ProjectWise, it will simply do a file replace and the file is retrieved from the location that are specified in the file name column in the Excel file. Enabling these two options, Update Attribute Data and Update Code Fields will bring all the attributes data, including the drawing number that are specified in the Excel file. Go ahead and click Next and then Import. In the Excel file, there are a total of 12 documents that have been read by the Excel import tool. 11 new documents that are not existed in ProjectWise, so it will import these 11 documents. The one document which is already existed in ProjectWise, that was the same one 
we exported earlier to help us generate the Excel file. Since it's already existed in ProjectWise, so it will just replace the file and update the attributes specified in the Excel file. Opening the Document Properties dialog window for one of the documents that just imported confirm that the attributes have been brought in. During this lesson, we have learned using Excel import tool to bring new documents into ProjectWise, along with the attributes that need to be associated to the documents. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.